We're three weeks into the year, and I'm willing to bet that you've already dropped some of the habits you said you were going to keep. I don't blame you, though. Building new habits is hard. Because to do that, you have to let yourself die. From the moment we're born, we begin forming an identity. This is based on everything that happens to us and everything we see around us. The parents we're born to, the life we're born into, and the experience of being born itself. As the years progress, this identity becomes more and more solidified and homed in. The things we do, eat, see, think, and say, the house, country, and society we live in, the education we have, the religion we practice, the books we read, the music we listen to, the media we're exposed to, it all shapes us. It all results in the formulation of a self-construct and, in other words, an identity. So, by the time we're age 9 or 18 or 50 or whatever age, we already have an idea of what it means to be us that's been deeply, deeply ingrained. It shapes who we are, and if nothing changes, who we will continue to be. In order to form an inhabit, that idea of us has to die. And that's why it's so hard to form an inhabit. It's the death of the self. To establish a new habit, you first have to begin seeing yourself as a new person, or at the very least, as a new version of yourself. You have to start seeing yourself as someone who runs or gets stuff done on time or has whatever habit it is that you want to establish. Not only this, but also as someone who has the discipline, self-worth, and perseverance that it takes to pursue and maintain that habit. The moment we desire change, we're met with a decision. We have to decide whether we want to keep doing and thinking the same old things, feeling the same old way, and living the same life, or if we want to try to do better by doing something new. But new is hard. In my opinion, it's a lot more helpful to realize, accept, and admit that than it is to try to deny it. New means work. New means there's a lot to learn and you don't know what you don't know. But when you first start, you go through a period where you know what you don't know, (laughs) and it can be overwhelming. All the different skills, information, thought patterns, and so on that you now have to work to assimilate. Besides that, you need a system for yourself. You need to have a plan. And again, in order to know what plan will work, and more specifically, what plan will work for you, you need to know things that you likely don't already know. You need to learn more about yourself, the kind of person you are, what drives you, what shuts you down, what lights a spark inside of you and inspires you, and what doesn't. Besides that, you also need to know the expectations that come with being that sort of a person. So, for example, if you want to be a YouTuber, are you expected to post every week, every two weeks, every month? How good do your videos have to be visually and content-wise? And how can you position yourself so that you're saying things that interest other people, but so that you're not just saying the same things that other people are already saying? Outside of learning more about yourself, you also have to find tools and resources that you can refer to and use whenever you don't know something or when you need something that you don't already have. And this is all 10 times harder when you, whenever you don't have some sort of a mentor to guide you through it. Because now you, based on the limited knowledge you do have, have to decide what out of all the information you find is legitimate and useful to you and your situation. That takes a lot of discernment, which takes a lot of time and energy. So yes, building a new habit is hard, and no, you aren't a failure for finding it to be so. It requires a lot of working through self-doubt, fears, and limiting beliefs, and probably the opinions of other people too. More than anything though, building a new habit is a head game. It's a loaded thing that comes with a lot of hurdles because as we all know, the mind can be a battlefield. But it can be done. Always remind yourself of that. It can be done. You just have to be patient enough and wise enough to keep on trying. If you like this video, then check out my playlist on habits and habit forming. I'll link it here and in my description. Before you leave though, comment down below what difficulties you face whenever you're trying to form a new habit. 
I want this to be a space where we can all learn, share, and be inspired by each other. So I really look forward to reading what you guys have to say. Also, if you like this video, then make sure to hit that like button. And if you really liked it, then subscribe so you can catch all my videos as soon as I drop them. But as for right now though, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.